Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Devious by Hugo B. Designer. And for those of you who are watching this on the day of upload, you may have seen that I solved another puzzle in under a minute in a blind playthrough. So, if you missed that, go check it out, because it was quite hilarious. Alright, let's read the description. Hard! A laser redirection puzzle that was inspired by Mevius's remorse map. Oh, so maybe this should be pronounced Devius to rhyme with Mevius. Or maybe it's been Mebius this whole time. Mebius sounds weird to me, though. I I've always said Mebius. Anyway. Inspired by Mebius's remorse map and partially by Rector Rock's can't let go. But in the end, the inspired move didn't even make it through. Two lasers, two redirection cubes, one funnel, lots of portal management. Feedback and playthroughs are very much appreciated. Hashtag bmod, hashtag optional companion cube. And then there's a bunch of updates and plenty of playthroughs for you guys to go check out. Please do check out other people's playthroughs, it is healthy. Alright, let us get started. Hello. I think we have some... No music? No, this is Rexora music. Ah, good old Rexora music. Well, it's inspired by a Mevius map, so of course it's Rexor music. Oh! Fancy that! That's exactly what I needed to do! Hey, First map I've played where the color cubes actually work properly. Huzzah! That's a really co odd color, though. Also, the- is this, uh... Why does it kind of look weird from certain angles? It's like the reflections are freaking out. I don't know, maybe I'm imagining things. Why is that horrible? <laughs> Alright, okay, what do we actually want to do here, though? There's no angle that will work to see that. That is angled exactly just right with that column there. Alright, so that light bridge is only powered by that. And... What?! This ant line goes through the deadly goo. That's something you don't see every day. Alright, what does this do? Yeah, yeah. Okay, here's the thing. SV... Player, collide with laser, zero please, thank you. There we go. There we go, what does that do? This goes to the exit. Exit requirement, don't need that. I, why did I even bother with that? I could tell at a glance it goes to the exit. Completely unnecessary judgment to take. I mean, completely... Well, you know what I meant to say. I'm Wheatley today. So that's also an exit requirement, that's also an exit requirement, and that's also an exit requirement, so we don't need to even be in here right now. We can literally just leave with our cube, and proceed onward with the rest of the puzzle. So there's that taken care of. Hmm... This responds... this cube... There's no portal surface in here, right? Aside from that one. Also, I just cleared my portals. Yeah, that's- that's not useful to us, though. Alright, well what do we want to do... instead? What does this do? I don't know, do you know? I'm still jumping over lasers even though I don't need to. But who cares? Have it fun, okay? Yeah, the angle's designed to not work. Alright, well that's out of the question. What does that even do? Looks like one of multiple requirements for a fizzler, it seems. Do I really need to recall this cube and then proceed on elsewhere? Oh wow, I really do. Well, fancy that. Ah, Clever! I ha- <laughs> I have to make an unintuitive cube respawn in order to proceed. Alright, now I can come here and take this one. This is sort of reminding me a little bit of Laced Up. Although, I don't know how much bootstrapping we'll be doing in this map. 
All right then. Where to next? A light bridge there, that's probably what we'll need for the exit. And we cannot at the same time do this and this, right? Yeah, okay. A lot of portal surfaces here. A lot of portal surfaces. But I need to get through here to proceed, so... I'm gonna have to get clever. What is up with this? Why is that a thing? That is a strange thing. That's... a strange thing. I mean, it's not to let the fizzler through, because... the way fizzlers work is that, like, if, if you have the fizzler placed right there... Then, that segment would be missing, and this segment would be missing. I don't know what this is for. And the same applies to this... this what, what is this? I don't know, maybe it's decorative, who knows. I don't know. Yeah, this is just a deadly goo pit. things? Maybe? Not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out. How about that direction? What about... oh no, that angle won't work out. No, that's not helpful. That is not helpful at all. What am I doing? I'm not sure. I can do that, so at least there's that much. Ah, here we go, yes, that's what I needed to do, actually. Black. Green. So, I'll have to remember right now that my input-output is reversed from how I usually have it. But we can save here. And then continue. Oh, interesting. We have some nice stairs down to the light bridge, and some nice stairs back up from the light bridge. And then we have some stairs down to the laser. Actually, a stair. Although it actually appears to be a ramp rather than a stair. <laughs> I think that's as horizontal as I'm gonna get it today. <laughs> Alright. Enough distractions. Where do we actually want this laser cube at? Wow, that laser is just... That is just barely hitting. That's barely making contact. Uh. Alright, well, we've saved, so... if I do... that... and this... and this... and... this... Hey, presto, we did it! Congratulations to me! And then we use Hugo's infamous... great thing? Is this what I'm supposed to do? I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. Actually.
Yeah, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Well then what am I supposed to do? I can't really see any good way to get up here. What is... Turns on a funnel, apparently? Probably that funnel. Maybe permanent. I mean, I literally could do this, but I'm pretty sure it's not intended. Make up your mind, cube! Ah, uh, Well, I just broke the game. <laughs> Look at that. Broken. Lazy Valve. Yeah, there you go. That's how you're supposed to do it. I don't think this is the right way at all. I mean, you can do it, but generally cube throwing is not intended, so... It doesn't say anything about cube throwing in the description, right? I mean, it's been fixed a lot! You would think in all the fixes that he would've removed cube throwing. But maybe he just expects people to not do it, and it's on the honor system. Hmm. There's no portal surfaces near here. Like, I was thinking, like, we could put the cube here or something, but... Oh yeah, duh. Duh! Haha! <laughs> That's exactly what we can do. We need to keep on that side, though. I'm just being an idiot. There we go. Plonk! And... Plonk. And I wasn't standing on it. Because of course I wasn't. There we go. That's the right rate of plonk. Okay, so this does... One out of two requirements for some stairs. That's a flip panel. Permanent funnel. Oh, and it activates the flip panel too. Why did it need a flip panel? I guess to fix some exploit. I bet... Cause these have grading. I'll bet you anything somebody figured out a way to break this in such a way that they could escape through this portal while the funnel was turned off. I'll bet you anything that's exactly what it was. Alright, well. This is taking forever. Alright, so. What is the other requirement here? That. Because, of course, that's the other requirement. What else would be the other requirement? No matter. I can achieve this impossible task. We. Alright. Put the cube here. Get back in funnel. Right, but we, need, we would need another cube in order for that to make any sense. There's a tantalizing button up there. So what could we do instead? We would want to we we'd want a way to be up here with the cube there and some portals configured just so. Oh, wrong key. Let's let's try this again. What if... 
What if? Aha! Clever. It's all about lazy cubes on buttons with lasers. Alright, now I'm assuming this cube is colored differently, right? And it's another lazy cube? Correct the mundo! And we get a shortcut back up here for our efforts. Lovely. Yet another unusual color choice. They're both different shades of a light color. I mean, they're different shades. I mean, they're different hues of the same shade, or something like that. I think that's what I meant to say. Oh no! Now we have to go back. Also, this shortcut isn't very shortcutty. What is this one for? That portal surface worries me. Why would we? Who would? When would that be used? There's nothing at that height level. What is this for? This map's been updated so many times, I don't understand what half the things are in here. Yeah, I'm- I- I don't- I don't understand what that's for. Might just be a safe place to put your portal... ...without... ...you know... ...doing that. Also, that could be a potential trapping situation. Those stairs! Stairs, man, they are like, super buggy when it comes to you standing on them. The stairs are just buggy in general, they're one of the buggier objects in the game. Alright, well! How about... you let us tomato? Let's save... and... continue. Alright, so we're across here. Oh, I thought I broke intersection with one of the cubes, but I can- I can still intersect both of them. And then, let's see, cube here. Cube here. See, these cubes act as if it's an actual step, but my character acts as if it's a slant. Team's been- been cheating. Okay, now I broke intersection with this cube. Oh, nope, it- it fixed itself. Strange. Okay, which one was which? Okay, this is the... Uh... Crap, what does lavender look like? Is this lavender or is that lavender? Honestly, it could be either way at this point. Let's find out. Okay, lavender is a pink color. So what is the greenish color then? I don't know. We'll just call it purple and light green. That'll be easier, right? Crap, which one was this one again? <laughs> My memory's terrible. Okay, that's the light green dropper. Purple dropper is the original one that we've been with the longest. Even when they're colored, I still get them mixed up. That's not a good sign. <laughs> hmm. Also, I just noticed we can do this. This is a thing that can be done. Although not from this angle. No, I think we'll put a cube in there first. And then the other... 
Yeah, we need both cubes in there, so we're not- this- this- no, that's not- you don't- that's not- this isn't what we do, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, so. We have to redo the whole procedure here. In order to get this cube across. Let the procedures commence. Hey! Alright. Save. Right. Okay. So. Can we do this again? Grab this guy from a distance. Save time. Oh, look, we're playing as Chill. Didn't even notice that Chill just now. Grab this guy from a distance to save time. And... push them both through. Right, now what? I need the light bridge in here, don't I? Well, darn. Yeah, because this isn't of no use to us. I just, I just like- I just like crushing the player that way. That's such a weird way to die, getting sliced in half by the portal. Although the game t counts it as crushing, it's technically getting sliced. Which, in, for any of you wondering, slicing yourself in a portal is something that will not be allowed if I ever make a game with portals. So, portal peeking, problem of the past. Right, so. Keep this guy in here, I suppose. And then... Backtrack and forward track? And retrack and untrack and detrack and... Uh... Well, you know what I mean. Gotta go sideways and side to side. What? My portals are backwards! Why did I do that? How did I even uh, manage to accomplish that? And I broke my input-output rule somehow? Nope, 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 nope. That one stays. Purple one. Purple one. What? What am I doing here? Am I an idiot? Yes, I'm an idiot. I've been shooting black there the whole time. Oh man. Input, output! Nock's gonna make so much fun of me. I can already hear him typing his comment. Alright. Actually, that might just be the sound of my own keyboard. Alright, take this guy... ...save here, and continue through here. Back through here. Plunk. Is it just me using my green portal lighter than normal? Must just be the lighting. Oh wow, that's deceptive. This- this one... double wide instead of a single wide. Okay, well there's other double wides here. But still, it was deceptive to me at least. Right, purple guy can be recalled on a- on a noticed, uh... Uh, well, you know what I mean. I think you do, anyway. Ow! Oh! We need the funnel! Really? How am I going to do that? Ok, 
Okay, well now I feel like I've done something wrong here. I feel like I have this hat. I think I think I need to have this set up somehow. But how? Maybe I can hit this? No, that's not a thing I can do. That is not within my ability. What am I supposed to do in here? Because I want to funnel myself across there if I can't use the light bridge. Definitely can't use the light bridge like I thought. Alright, well I guess... I guess we make an attempt at it. How did I do this part again? Alright, well let's just do this. And I misfired. Gotta do it the lame way. There we go. So here's something I guess I can do. Don't need portals anymore, right? Except let's use this one. Eh, it doesn't matter. So now I can have that activated. Oh, but... I can recall I want to have on hand. So if we do this instead... Oh goodness. Save. Because when I recall it, it'll come out of this then. Except how do I recall it? I have to push the button all the way up there, which means... How am I going to do that? Did I like... overcomplicate? Am I making negative progress here? Could I see that? From out here. Oh my gosh! I am making this so much harder than it needs to be because I thought I needed the light bridge and I didn't. Right, well. Oh, get out of the way. Get in there. Gotta do this all over again. Eh, eh, don't you do that to me, cube. Thank you. Purple. Alright, now let's not be a dummy about this. Right, no. We need... We need to do things... this way. So yes, now we can portal up there, but the question is, which portal do we use? Okay, so, here's my idea. Set this guy up... in an accessible area... aiming at this. And maybe this'll work, maybe it won't. We will only find out... if time tells. Oh, 
but then how are we gonna get out? We need to have the funnel. But... If we're on the funnel side, we won't be able to go anywhere. Mmm. This is devious, Hugo. Yeah, I'll just do that for now. Yeah, that doesn't do much good. If I do this... ...bad things will happen. So how am I supposed to do this? I think I'm missing a critical piece of information. Hey! All the fizzlers are off. Why didn't I do that a long time ago? That makes things a lot easier. Okay, but now what? I have free reign of this little back and forth area, but now what? What now? What good has this wrought me? Hey, wait a sec. Wow! Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh, I so overcomplicated this. Wow. <laughs> That was dumb of me. So simple. So simple. It's always easier with two cubes. You know? Unless you're playing laced up, then it's just much harder. Great. That's not what I wanna do. I wanna do this first. Two lasers. We need two lasers. Uh oh my. It means we need a laser to come out of there. How is that going to work? Need both lasers. Uh I mean, jeez, Hugo, this is so devious. Like we could recall the purple guy. At a moment's notice. I'm gonna save here. Plonk. Plonk. Um... Yeah, uh, e- mm. Yeah, this- this- that- no, no, that's not- that's not how you do it. That isn't- that is not the way. So... What would we do instead?
we can at least get to the other side and see if there's anything of value over there, right? It just looks like a, a return path and a return path. Why are there two return paths? Why is there a light bridge return path and a faith plate return path? Who would ever use the light bridge? No, really, why would anybody ever use the light bridge if the faith plate's there? I'm a bit confused on that front. The only reason I could think that the light bridge is there is if we wanted to put the cube there in advance and then come back and change it later. Because then we won't need the funnel anymore. We won't need the funnel anymore! That might be... that might be the answer. Yeah, then we could come back over from this side to this side without using the funnel, and we could change it over to point this direction. But first we want it like this. Okay, so this is probably correct. If I can get the angle on it to be normal. There we go, that- that's good enough. Good enough! Alright, then next... Next. I don't know that. I think I see. Clever. Very clever. And not foolish. Aha! Yes! There's how you do it. So then... Okay, here's a question I never answered. Does the cube auto respawn? <laughs> um. Because if it auto responds, I'm done. If it doesn't auto respawn, I'm done for. I suppose I could just do this. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. Much, much, much simpler. Don't even need to know if the cube auto responds or not, and then I can just put the portal back. Ta-da! I did it! All by myself and without any cuts. What happened to my cube?! Where did my cube go?! What?! I was done, man! I was done! Where did my cube go? Who took my cube? And why? Where did it go? There was totally a cube there! I'm calling foul play on that one. What actually happened there? What? I don't remember hearing a cube fizzle. Alright, well. Let's, uh, let's do this again. I know what happened to my cube. 
The funnel stole it. The, the, the funnel! The funnel stole my cube. That's what happened to it. Well, at least we can work around that. Yeah, we just need to use this portal surface instead. I was not thinking that through. Alright. Totally my fault. And then we just do all this again. Pretty much identically. Black portal. There we go. Very clever puzzle. I will say, though, that my cube disappearing at the end there was quite a shock. Alright, then we do this. Again. That's kind of cool, though, having to alternate this portal. So, so many times during the puzzle we have to alternate this... these two portals. That's- that's really cool. I like that. So there's that. And... the finishing move. My cube! Yay! Awesome puzzle, Hugo. That was really good. Alright, then. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!